What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to do some plastic welding. I, uh, I moved one of my eyes from right here where you can see these two holes from my kayak anchor to way back here. So I get an extra, you know, three foot of travel with my anchor. Then I also did the same thing up front where it was right here and now it's way up here. So now I have four holes that I have to fill in. Um, unfortunately, I don't have my heat gun. I just have my iron. So we're going to do it with an iron. We'll see how it goes. I know my last video where I welded, welded this scupper, um, I didn't actually show the welding. So that's what I'm going to do. So, and this one's actually holding up really well. Um, I'm pretty stoked about that. So let's get to it. So I have a welding iron here. I've had it on. Uh, it's heated up. Uh, it's just one from Harbor Freight. It's like 16, 17 bucks for the kit. Um, if you're going to be doing a lot of welding, I would not recommend this. Uh, it, the actual head will bend. So I just bend it back. Um, if you're doing, you know, some hole work, uh, up front or in the back, uh, a lot of welding, I would definitely get a, a better welder. I also recommend a heat gun for melting your plastic, but we're just going to go over these and uh, I just need to get something in here to fill them in so I can go out tomorrow morning and uh, go fishing. So let's do this. So what I would normally do is I would heat this plastic up with the heat gun and then I would heat this plastic up with the heat gun, just place it over it and then melt it down. But like I said, I don't have the heat gun, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. We'll get it nice and hot and not, you can see it, it melts pretty, pretty quick. So all I'm doing is using the plastic that was brought up from where the screw was just to kind of fill it in a little bit. You don't want to press real hard. I'm just trying to smooth it out. All right, so you can see I got the two here. You can see where when the screws were originally put in, it made this little lip. So this is actually what I'm melting down to start and just trying to work it into the hole. So you're using the, the kayak's own material and then you just fill it in with with the plastic you have. So here we go. Let's see if we can kind of do this so you guys can see a little bit better. So as you can see, that one's almost full already. And they do make different tips for these, uh, for your irons. Um, this one didn't come with any. So when it starts smoking like that, you can take that brush. All it is is the plastic burning up on it. Um, again, be super careful with this. It does get extremely, extremely hot. And if you've ever done putty, it's kind of the same concept. All you're trying to do is, is fill the hole with the new material. You can see how much that spreads out. I definitely didn't need that much, but it's working. So that's all, that's all I really asked for. And again, very, very little bit. You can see I'm just taking, you know, a half inch off at a time and I'm just working it into the hole. And then they do sell rubber rollers that you can uh, you can roll over these to smooth them out so it doesn't stick. If you try to use a putty knife or something like that, the the hot plastic is just going to stick to it, which is not really what you're looking for. But again, I'm just going for watertight, not for aesthetics. But that's it, guys. So out of that huge chunk of plastic that I had, 
I still have plenty more left. So if I have to put more, more cat eyes in, which I'm going to have to replace this one here in a little bit, um, you know, you go in, you fill them up and then you're done. This jug will last me the, the entirety of this kayak. So that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I appreciate you watching. And uh, if you have any comments for how I did it or if I could do it better, um, let me know. Thanks.